Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Science. And today is Magnetism Station 1. First, let's take a look at the materials that we're going to need. We're going to need about a one meter length of string. I got a couple of them here because we're going to probably try a couple of things. Some ring magnets. And see, I already have some ring magnets. You know, I have a different connections and such directions and look at that see how the magnetic fields they oppose each other when I oppose that let's go into the little kit that I have and we have some ring magnets here as well see we have red and blue here let's take a look and see, see whoa look at that see how the red wants to go to the blue and if we remember north according to these magnets here see how it says north here north uh, is going to be red and south is going to be blue. So those attract, those don't, those repel each other. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to use the larger ones here. I have some like this and I'll show you a little bit more on that. And we need a compass. So we're going to need the compass, but if you notice how the magnet feel that I need to have that separate. So I'm going to have this separate from everything uh, when we're doing our, our experiment. And then also we need some tape. And that's to put it a on, so we can take the string, string here to a wooden table. A wooden table is absolutely necessary. We can't have a metal table or have like metal cabinets around it or stuff like that because that could affect the magnetic field around it, okay, for our experiment. First thing you need to do is to take that string, so we have the string, and tie it a loop through the magnet. See how we did that through the hole? I, I, that's what we need to do to get pre uh, prepared for the experiment today. And today. Okay, we have our materials. We know what, um, that we need to keep the compass away and have a wooden table and such. But another thing that we need to keep away from a lot of magnets are computers and iPhones and other stuff like that. I have my computer. It's separated enough to where it's not being affected, but you need to put your stuff away just to ensure that there's no um, magnets touching your computer or your iPhone or your Samsung phone, whatever you have. Make sure that's put away. If you have like a large metal belt buckle, that might be something that you shouldn't have on either. The question is, what are magnets? How do they interact with each other? And how do they interact with the world around them? Let's find out. Okay, hey, let's take a look at how I set up these magnets. I have the string and I have it kind of separated so that I'm trying to make it so that the magnets aren't going to influence each other. And then they're, they're being uh, dangled down, you know, off the side of a wooden structure or a table. I, want, I needed to improvise so that you can use that. So I'm using a stool. And then just to check, make sure that, you know, we're looking at magnets and such, I have my north here, and this is the south, so it's going to come right to it. If I have it on the other side, see how oh, it always wants to turn towards what's attracted to it. Same thing with this magnet. I have a blue and a red. So that's, the, that's what I'm trying to look at here. So the experiment, once you set it up, you're supposed to observe what's going on here. And if you notice how the, both the magnets are kind of going in the same direction. You know, I can take a look at... I have my little piece of wood because I do not want to influence how those magnets are reacting. And I'm going to put it like this here. And it's kind of like if I could stick my arm through the holes there, it's, it's approximately going in that same direction. So is that north? Well, that's where a compass comes in. So I have a compass now, and I can set it here, and it's going to be pointing towards north. So let me orient the that's where the red is going to go. So, See how it points towards north? That's going to give us the approximate location. Now, I'm going to remove this. The next thing that we need to do is to, let's twist this magnet a little bit and let it rotate. And we're going to see how, how does it orient when, when it comes to rest. You don't have to twist it a bunch, but you see how it's oriented? Another test is using the barb magnet. See how I can manipulate it. Now I remove the barb magnet 
and it's going to come to rest again. Okay, now part of that question is, is what, what are magnets? You know, how, how are they, how is this doing this? Well, it's aligning with what? It's aligning with magnetic north. So, that we call the north pole on the magnet is actually polarized south because north is attracted to the south or south is attracted to the north. And uh, the earth is a giant magnet. And why is it a giant magnet? Why don't you look that up? Thank you for watching Station One for Magnetism today. Hopefully you have your own magnetic kit to where you can participate as well. Look in the description and there'll be some extra questions in there and I can go over that with you. You can look at my email and go back and forth with that. For Station Two, we're going to be working with bar magnets and some iron filings. One of the things that you can do to prepare for this lesson is to look up the words magnetic field and possibly watch a video. I'll have a video link in the description. Remember, to be a scientist, all you have to be is a person that does science. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches for more videos.